here, hello and welcome back and today we're going to continue our noise testing of hard drives and today we are looking at the Seagate Barracuda Pro. This is your standard Barracuda desktop class of drive from Seagate but this is the Pro series drive. This has got 7200 RPM, it has a massive amount of cache and it is designed to be incredibly robust and rugged. Definitely for more business class storage use and although it's not designed for RAID environments it is still a very very sturdy drive. Now what we sort of talked about on the channel before to do with sturdy drives is of course that the more enterprise and the more business class a drive generally the more noise it makes because it has to be able to take a punch there's a reason they give these drives five years of warranty now much like our series of drives when we're looking at nas drives and data center class drives we want to see how much noise this drive makes because probably more so than network attached storage to drives the noise this drive makes is going to be even more important. This is going to be inside a single drive array, maybe in an external DAS enclosure, maybe inside your PC at home. Consequently, the noise it makes is probably quite important indeed. So what we're going to be doing today is running some light performance benchmarks on it. And although we are going to be looking at the read-write, the main thing we're looking at is the noise it generates. And we're going to do that in a number of key ways. We're running a three microphone setup here we have the microphone i'm talking to you on right here and that microphone is the one that's just going to record my dialogue we then have another mic just slightly off shot here and that microphone will then be uh, categorizing and recording the noise that's being generated from the drive when it's inside that dock it is going to be ever so slightly amplified for you guys at home so you can identify the noise the, we are trying to run a complete enclosure free setup so we can just hear the noise of the drive the reason being that if you stick this inside a plastic enclosure or a metal enclosure a shuttle case a full desktop tower that noise is going to differ so we very hard to track that so we're only trying to get as much noise from just the drive as possible on top of that also using the Sabrant USB 3 external uh, enclosure. It does not have a fan inside. And also on top of that, the drive, uh, the enclosure has almost no electrical background noise at all. It has an external PSU, which is all the way over there. Consequently, it doesn't make much noise. Finally, we've got the audio monitor connected to here, this sensor here. And this is going to pick up our measurements and readings on the drive, but... Because we're not using some enterprise class thousands of pounds audio sensor that dips below uh, the 30 dB level, we've had to do a little bit of uh, collaboration on it. So currently I have it on minus 25. If we bring that back to uh, full spectrum of sound, I'll show you why we've had to allow for that. So right now, even at ambient noise, if we open up the sensor, let's listen to the ambient noise in this room. So as you can see, we're not going to get a great reading because it's living almost consistently above that 30 dB, which is going to be no good for us in this testing. So what we need to do is go into here, and that's why we bring it down, just like my other videos, down to 25. And from 25, it will allow us from there to get a far more precise reading. By precise, I don't mean the numerical value so much as the difference between background and the drive itself. So if we're quiet now... This will allow us to differentiate between the clicks, hums and words of the drive a great deal clearer. I'm not going to say this is precision. It is by no means precision. You've got to spend thousands for that. And depending on the success of this series of videos, we may go down that road. We're certainly going to look at RAID environments and we're certainly going to look at a drive comparison. But for now, this is our setup. So we're going to come out of that setting there. And the next thing we want to do is load our drive. So as mentioned, if we turn on the Sabrant, so if we go quiet, without a motorbike behind us, get rid of that guy. So now let's listen without any background noise. And now if we turn on the drive in the background, we can see that we're living in that nice 10 dB marker. So now we're going to introduce the Pro Series Barracuda Drive. And what's really important first is hearing the initial spin up of this drive. So once I click the power button there, we're going to go quiet for a little while again while we listen to the way this drive boots. Three, two, one.
Now bear in mind, we've not really done anything with that drive yet, and it already did very noticeable degrees of background noise there. Just look at that area of activity there. Now of course, this larger array of spikes are me talking, but it's still a noticeable increase there between no drive running and the drive spinning up. So the first thing we want to do now we've got the drive span up is to use AJA to get some performance benchmarks. Now before starting this video, I was able to get this drive ready for our testing. As you see here, I've already added the drive as a new volume. It's already ready available there on screen. So what we can do now is go into AJA. And with AJA, we're gonna do a balanced read write activity. It's gonna take it in turns. And the two things we need to take from this. Firstly, we want to look at the overall read and write speed. But secondly, we want to look at the noise that gets generated not only during the whole process, but when the write switches to read and vice versa. So again, it's a four gig test file in AJA. We're using our external Barracuda Pro drive. We're not using disk caching and we can go ahead and start the process now. So a small chunk there of spike when the drive switched, that tiny little spike there on the chart. Again, that small spike there as the drive switches between read and write activity. We'll let that do two more times. So now we've done that test there, we can see that it did perform pretty normally. And again, some decent speeds there, living at the 240, 250, averaging out at 245, at least in, in read. So now we're going to do a more traditional read-write activity. We're gonna go into, this is a SATA SSD we've got in our system that's filled with ISOs, big video images, and all of these files here from Mischief Movie Night that we talked about before, they're all about two or three gig each. I'm gonna go ahead and click copy, and then we're going to make our way into our external drive. Going to go with new, go for a new folder. And then what we're going to do is copy from that internal SSD on this system onto this Barracuda Pro drive. Now again, the performance is going to be in excess of 200. What we're concerned with learning here is the noise from this straight, consistent, heavy file right action. So let's let things get quiet and then we will start this action. So the performance there is pretty consistent living in those 200s. On top of that, the performance there, not a lot of noise as we anticipated, but again, it's the next test where we flick between read and write rapidly where we're gonna to start to see that noise. So if we end that suspended area there, we go ahead, grab that data, equaling 16.1 gigabytes of data, we click copy, 
and now we're going to create our brand new folder within the drive and we're going to copy and paste within the same drive something that hard drives are terrible at so the read and write is really going to gut a ball now what we really want to hear now is the flick the rapid flick between read and write activity within the drive that's going to be where we're at right now because that's where we're going to hear a lot more about the day-to-day -day activities of using a hard drive um, in a single use environment in raid these things get amplified so much more in a pro series drive we have the opportunity to kind of isolate it into this single drive without a large metal pc tower and motherboards and psus hanging around all over the place so let's get ready and we're going to paste this and once again we're just going to monitor the noise so we're going to let it settle in the background for a bit and then click paste Even with the light traffic going on behind me, you can definitely notice the clicking of those platters and arm and, arm and everything inside doing its job. Let's carry on. And this is a big consideration for desktop users that are going to be utilizing a drive and particularly a shuttle environment because that is a general noise use of that drive this we can't even talk about raid we can't talk about external enclosures this is a drive that is designed pretty much to be used in a close-knit environment so when it comes to the larger capacities of desktop hard drives and the larger capacity of single-use hard drives, it has to be bared in mind that even when you see enclosures that are one or two bay that say they have two times 18 TB drives, if you're using it in DAS, chances are you're going to be one or two meters away. So chances are noises like this are going to be noticeable. Let's listen to it a bit more. Now the actual DB rating isn't too high, but there's definitely a disparity there between all that activity and that noise may become very irritating for some. Now the last thing we're going to do now is cease that operation and listen to no drive spinning at all for our sense of relativity so we can understand the difference between the background noise and the drive noise. So in a moment I'm going to cease this operation and then I'm going to turn off the drive enclosure. Don't do this at home. This is an unsafe ejection of a drive. It can damage your drive or harm your data. So don't do this at home. We're going to do it now. So we heard the whine of that drive as it spanned down there. But... Still, the clicking there was very noticeable there, and that's what I mean about if you can have this drive on consistently. We're going to turn the drive back on in a moment, but let's get our nice sense of background noise. And not helped by a van outside, but whatever. And then we're going to power it on. Sounds like an old BBC micro PC, doesn't it? And that's really what this is about. The noise these drives generate, even in close proximity, is definitely something to bear in mind. But I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful. I'm going to talk more about hard drives and we're going to start comparing the noise of some of these drives in the very near future. If you've enjoyed this video, click like. It helps me understand if I should continue with this series and also whether I should invest in some premium grade expensive equipment and it could be justified. Click subscribe if you want to learn more and stay tuned for the rest of these drives. But apart from that, as my battery nearly dies, um, I will see you 
next time.